be now speaking to Tom O'Connor. Hello, Tom. Hi, Lewis. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, excellent. Tom, you've presented some of the best entertainment shows ever, including Name That Tune, The Zodiac Game, Crosswits and Gam Gambit. How was the whole experience for you becoming a household name? It was a bit like winning the pools, to be honest, Lewis. I mean, I'm, I'm really a school teacher, and uh, I worked at clubs and pubs and things around Liverpool, and I went on to a show called Opportunity in Oxford. You're probably a bit too young to remember that, but um, while I was doing that, they spotted me and said, give this guy a name that tune, because he teaches maths and music, and we need a mathematical brain and a music quiz. So how did you become... So how did you go from teaching to being a kind of TV presenter? <sighs> what I did was, I was very lucky. When I, when I was first discovered... They, were, they gave me some very good writers and producers, men who'd been around for a long time. And uh, I learned from them. I mean, I, I kept my mouth shut and my ears open, you know. And it worked. And uh, I've done nine different game shows altogether, you know. So when would you say you got your big break in the entertainment industry? Well, the, uh, the Opportunity Knox um, Discovery Show, I won it three weeks running. And on the third week, Bernard Delphon was in the control box and he said to the producer, who's this guy? He said, well, he teaches maths and music. He does a comedy act. He doesn't swear. He doesn't pick on people. And he said, well, I've got a game called Name That Tune. We'll try him. And, and they tried me out and I got it. You've also won an award for appearing on the TV show Countdown a hundred times. <laughs> is, is, so you obviously enjoy being part of Countdown. That was a great show, and it still is. It's one of the best game shows I've ever been on. Um, when you look at it, there's no flashing lights, there's no whiz-bangs, you don't win a thousand quid, but it's such a good intellectual game show. Uh, and I've actually done 175 now, you know, so I'm, I'm nearly up to me 200. Which of the shows that you have presented would you say was the most enjoyable for you to present? I, would, I mean, I used to do a show called uh, London Night Out, which is a big variety show with Name That Tune in the middle, but that was excellent, and it was it cost a lot of money to do. But the one I loved doing all the time was Crosswits, the crossword puzzle show. And I'm a crossword buff, and, uh, and I loved it, and I, I used to love all the nice celebrities we used to get on the show as well, you know. And talking about celebrities, you, you won Celebrity Come Dine With Me by winning a record break in 29 out of 30 points. Yeah. How did you find the whole experience being on that show, and did you get on with the celebrities you were with? Well, Claire Sweeney was with me, and she's been a pal of mine. I've, I've been u using her in my shows since she was about 12. Uh, Dad and Day I'd never met before, but he was a very nice man. But I also had Kim Woodburn from Kim and Aggie, and I don't know whether you saw the show, but she was a handful. <laughs> <laughs> she frightened the life out of me when I first met her. <laughs> and, you know, we recorded it on five different days, and the producer kept saying to me, you'll have to get control of this woman. I said, I've got no chance she's bigger than me. <laughs> but it was a, I enjoyed that. It was a great score as well, 29 out of 30. I'm, I'm waiting for someone to beat it. Fingers crossed, not. <laughs> What would you say your career highlight is then for you? I think probably the first Royal Variety Show I did, which was 1977 uh, for the Queen. And it was her 25th anniversary of being Queen as well. So it was a great moment. That, when you, the curtains open, you walk down and the Royals are just on your left-hand side and the room's full of people who are all rooting for you. It's a brilliant feeling, actually. So um, are, you, do you, are you working on any upcoming projects at the moment? Well, and we just recorded um, Cash in the Attic, so that will be on August the 13th. August the 13th, and it's been brilliant talking to you today, Tom. Oh, thank you, mate. Thank and, you very uh, much. Good luck, you're doing very well there. Thank you very much, Tom. Cheers. Thanks, bye.